Right. Oh, that's right. They just spent the last year fetishizing and normalizing the hijab. They spent the last year applauding global corporations for adorning athletes and Barbie dolls with it. They embraced the hijab to such a degree. They literally made it the symbol of their resistance movement. How can you claim to represent women's rights when you're genuflecting to a symbol of oppression for women across an entire continent? The first thing women in Syria do when they're liberated from ISIS control is to remove their hijabs with glee. The very first Arab feminist groups 100 years ago discarded their hijabs in protest. Now Iranian women in 2018 are doing the same thing, being beaten for it in the streets. And how does the left respond? With complete silence or even tacit support for the Islamic regime. How many times has the official pussy hat women's march even tweeted about Iran? Oh look! It's zero! Another case in point, the relentless cancer that is BuzzFeed. People are using an old image of a woman without a headscarf to illustrate the Iran protests. Old? Really? So how old is it, BuzzFeed? Six months? Two years? Five years? Oh, it's literally from last week, as you admit in your own article. It's from December 27th, just a week before you published the article. So you accuse me of misleading people when you're the ones misleading people by claiming an image is old when it isn't even old. You're the ones literally spreading fake news to side with an oppressive Islamic theocracy against women's rights. Oh no, people are using a four day old image of a woman spurning the forced modesty culture of a misogynistic death cult that we peddle to our virtue signaling white guilt ridden readership as empowering and it's totally fucking up our victim narrative. Buzzfeed claims that images of women removing their hijabs to protest against government laws which force them to wear hijabs have nothing to do with the anti-government protests. In fact, it's got so little to do with the anti-government protests that it literally became an iconic symbol of the anti-government protests. Who wrote this BuzzFeed piece? Rose Troop Buchanan? Yeah, let's check that white privilege, Rose, and listen to what actual Iranians have to say about this. I'm from Iran, and every day, many women are arrested because they didn't cover their hair properly. If a woman doesn't wear a scarf at all, she will be lashed. The people of Iran have made this image a symbol of their resistance, but to many leftists, everything is about American politics and their opposition to the right. The world is bigger than the US, but BuzzFeed, you have taken the side of the theocrats against the oppressed. Yeah, a little more listening to people who are actually from the country, BuzzFeed, and a little less white splaining, please. A little less throwing actual feminists under the bus with your fake news. And didn't you just know Miss Sharia Law is reasonable Linda Sarsour would have to insert herself into this? Why does the right wing suddenly care about women in the Middle East? They didn't care about the Rowan giant Muslims. Yeah, except they did. And Saw saw herself only tweeted about it when it became a global news story. Hey Linda, I was calling for women to liberate themselves of their burqas four years ago. And what were you doing? Joking about how FGM victims like Ayan Hirsi Ali should have their vaginas removed. And you've got the nerve to call yourself a women's rights advocate. Bullshit. She's a fake feminist. Ms. Sarsu is not interested in universal human rights. She's a defender of Sharia law. Noticeable that male far-right bloggers, commentators in the US and Europe are going viral by deciding who is and who isn't a true feminist in relation to the West's response to Iran's protests. Yeah, noticeable how many far-left bloggers, commentators in the US and Europe are fetishizing the hijab, a symbol of patriarchal oppression, while actual victims of patriarchal oppression in Iran liberate themselves of it. Hey lefties, feminism isn't about virtue signaling on Twitter about how much you respect women while you sexually abuse them behind the scenes. It's about literally risking incarceration and torture to stand up for actual women's rights. Drink it in, because this is what a real feminist looks like. This is what a real feminist movement looks like. It's not about your corporate feminist hijabi friendly Islamophilia. It's about risking it all to be a beacon of true freedom and true liberation for women around the world.